Today probably didn't go how John George Todd III thought it would. You see, previously he refused to plead guilty to a single misdemeanor. And today, he was found guilty on two felonies and four misdemeanors. But on top of that, he was not held pre-trial. But after the verdict came down, he is being held until sentencing. I get the feeling he didn't see that coming. Now, what did he do that's so bad that they decided to hold him? Well, this is an official press release, as you can see here. And if I go down and I can find it, here is a good example of what happened. We're going to read this part right here. There's more, of course. I'll have the whole thing in the pinned comments if you want to read it. Law enforcement officers in the rotunda soon began an effort to clear the area of rioters. However, Todd dug in his feet and body refused to move. Still holding his makeshift flagpole, Todd screamed at officers he was not leaving. An MPD officer then grabbed the end of the flagpole and attempted to prevent it from injuring anyone in the crowd. A brief tussle then ensued between Todd and the MPD officer, during which the pole snapped. Todd then yanked the pole from the officer's hand, causing the splintered fragments to gash open the officer's finger. Todd then yelled at the officer and those around him, Throw down your badge and gun. Let's go one on one. The officer's injury required hospitalization and stitches. Now, of course, there's a lot more here, as you can see, and there's all sorts of articles about him. But really being found guilty at this part right here, I get the feeling that it really may be sunk into the judge that he maybe shouldn't be released since he's, you know, not released until his sentencing. 